Hi everybody, in this video we are going to disarm our car and the different parts will be explained detailed, its different functions and the relevance of those. So when we will begin the building of the car we could understand the different connections and why are those devices important in our project. Then let's do it! Okay, we are going to begin. Basically, we are using an Arduino, a H bridge, a lipo battery of 12 volts. It's not necessary that you use a lipo battery, uh, or you could use it, but it could be smaller. This one has three cells and a high capacity current. Later, I, I am going to talk about it detail. Also, we use a LM7805. Later, I will give you the exact specification. We use a protoboard to DC motors with wheels and to encoders. Finally, to ceramic capacitors 104. Okay, here we have the battery. This one is a lipo battery that his common use is in drones. It has 20C light rate of the share. It has three cells that provides around 11 or 12 volts. It has 500 milliampere hour of current that, that it makes a powerful battery more than this project requires. But it's the only battery that I have. Here we have the connection between elements. It is important that you visualize that the H bridge shield it is connected to the motors because it makes that the motor moves. In the other hand, we have the connection between the shield and the Arduino. For those connections, the Arduino sends signals to the motors. Then, we could see the loop, the Arduino send the signal to the H bridge, the bridge send the signal to the motors, then the motors move and the encoder read those movements and those are sent to the Arduino again. You must to see that loop. In every sample of time, the encoder reads the movements and those signals are sent to the Arduino. The Arduino computes the control and it sends signals to the H bridge. And the shield sends instruction to the motors and the loop is closed. Ok, let's continue the disconnection. Those are the encoders, those sensors are designed for this platform. Note that this sensor have a hole in the center, where rotates the whole disk. Those are the elements that we use, a uh, Mega Arduino, two encoders with two holes disk, a battery, a mobile platform with two DC motors, a uh, LM8805, a uh, H bridge, two ceramic condenser 104, and that's it. 
Remember the Loop, The Encoders, Reads and the Arduino Process the Signals. It sends signals to the H bridge and the motors moves. So the loops starts again. And that's it, that's it for this video, and in this next video we are going to talk about the connections, in the next video we begin to, to the programming of the Arduino.